Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into a lesser known but pretty powerful new features in C-Sharp 13, the method group natural type optimization. Now, this isn't just another syntax change, it's the behind the scenes compiler improvement that makes method resolution smarter and more efficient. If you are a C-Sharp developer, especially one working with lots of overloads and inheritance, you'd like to know about this one. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video okay without any further delay let's get started c sharp 13.net 9 method group natural type optimization okay so let's first understand what method group is a method group is a method's name without parenthesis that represents a reference to the method before it's bound to a specific signature allowing it to be used as a delegate or lambda expression okay let's understand it with the help of examples on over here so here there is an accent delegate accent a string logger and here i am assigning this print keyword to it right so what is the print over here print is nothing but a method group over here if you notice i haven't provided any parenthesis after this print word right so this is nothing but a method group in c sharp when we have multiple methods with the same name but different parameters we call it as the method overloading right and all these overloaded version with the same name are what we call a method group think of it as a collection of methods that all share a name but do different things based on the parameter we pass in okay if you see this example shown over here here there is a print method of three variation right the first one is going to accept the int parameter, the second one a string parameter and the third one both int parameter as well as the string parameter. So here there is a simple method group named print that has three version of print method right they all share the name print but differ based on the type or number of parameters right the compiler has to decide which one to use every time when we call them. So what's changed in C sharp 13? Now, before C sharp 13, the compiler was not as efficient in choosing the right method from a method group. Let's say we are working in a large code base with lots of overloaded methods or even classes that inherit these overload methods. When trying to choose the right method, the compiler would check all possible candidates even ones that could not possibly match due to incompatible parameters. This means the compiler would sometimes go extra steps to resolve the method, making the compiler time slower and sometimes creating confusing errors. So with C sharp 13 new method group natural type optimization, the compiler became smarter now. Why I am saying this? Because it does three things for identifying correct method to invoke. Number one, narrow candidates early when you call a method the compiler now does a smart filtering how it does it looks at the arguments you are passing to the method it quickly gets rid of any method that obviously won't work like once with totally incompatible parameter type this way the compiler doesn't waste the time on the methods that can't possibly match and focuses only on the ones that might actually work it's like sorting through a piles of keys to find the right one it only keeps the keys that could fit the lock and ignore the rest one then step number two closes a scope for the compiler always starts by checking the class you are working with let's say derive classes first if it finds a matching method there it uses that one but if it doesn't find anything in the drive class what it does it go and check the base class for a match so the closer the method is to where you are calling it from the higher priority it gets number three overload resolution in action so in this step it is just going to resolve the overloaded method okay let's understand it with the help of examples on over here so here we have two classes base class and the derived class this base class is nothing but the parent class it has three version of a method called calculate that can handle an integer a string and a double right that's what three variation of calculate methods it is residing into this base class which is nothing but the parent class then we have the derived class that is a child class class which inherits everything from the parent class so in this case it is just going to get inherited everything from this base class which is nothing but the parent class over here and it also adds two new version of the calculate method. that's what i have written public void calculate int value int extra and the second one is the calculate t t value the second one is the generic one that can handle any type 
right? So when we call this object dot calculate, what it does, the compiler has to figure out which version of calculate method to use it, right? Okay. So if you see in the main method, what I am doing, I am just creating an instance of the derived class. That's what I have written: derived class obj is equal to new derived class. And with the help of derived class object, I am just calling this calculate method. So if you see the first one, obj dot calculate forty two. So here I am passing an integer number forty two over here. The compiler first check the derived class for a matching method. Method, but does not find one that takes a single integer, right? Because if you see here, there is a no single integer value passed in the derived class method, right? So what it does, it will go to the base class and identify which calculate method has having this integer parameter as an parameter, right? So it finds this one. So this method is going to get invoked. Now, if you see this obj calculate hello, so here I am passing a string argument. So it will go and check this a string argument into this derived class. So the compiler is going to check in the derived class, but does not find a method. For a string also over here, then it will go and check the base class and find this calculate a string text method over here. So that's the one it is going to use that. And if you see the third one, obj dot calculate three. Point fourteen. So here, what I'm passing, I'm just passing it double value, right? So it will go and check into the derived class. So here, derived class does not have the calculate method that is going to accept this double as an input parameter, right? So it again go and check in the base class. Here, it find this calculate double value method. So that's one it is going to invoke. Fourth one, if you see this obj dot calculate forty two comma ninety nine. Here, I'm passing two integer argument in this calculate method, right? So compiler is going to check in the derived classes and it finds in derived class right away if you see this first calculate method right calculate int value int extra so this method it finds so it is going to use without looking at the base class then if you see this last one where i am passing this generic type 5.67 f so basically i am just going to pass this float value to it but this float value is not available in this derived class as well as the base class right so what it does it is finding the generic thing over here generic version of calculate method right in the derived class itself so this generic method can handle anything so it is going to be invoked when we are going to pass this 5.67 float value to it so you have seen how the compiler is going to identify the correct method to invoke it right so it is just going to follow these three steps in order to find the correct method to invoke okay so why this optimization matters now you might wonder is this really a big deal and the answer is yes for larger projects absolutely if you are working on a complex application with lots of overloads inheritance and even generics these small compiler improvement make a big difference in compile times and reduce ambiguity in method resolution and if you are working in high performance environment every bit of efficiency counts Another benefit here is the accuracy. With this smarter method selection, we see fewer ambiguous method errors and better adherence to the expected overload and resolution behavior. Okay, so that brings me to end of my session today. To sum up, this method group natural type optimization in C# Sharp 13 is a pretty big win, especially if you are managing a large code base or working with complex inheritance structures. This is not a change you will see directly in your code as a developer, but it's very very important you. Will definitely feel over the time, especially as your projects grow. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.